I had already discussed in the last class a speculation of a random variable. So you can call it, uh, it is one kind of uh, uh, average, finding average. And uh, uh, what is happening the, that if you are talking about uh, uh, random variable, then it is observing value from set of real number, a specific set of real number that we call it collection of uh, random numbers and it is sequential in nature. It is uh, there is a single sequence what we call it. So that we had already seen that. So there are many numbers and those numbers are not determining in nature. Those are random, random in nature. So uh, if random in nature then there would be probability law that we call it probability mass function. It is turned into probability mass function. We had already discussed this. Okay. So uh, in together that uh, value of random variable and probability mass function the corresponding probability mass function, if you multiply corresponding probability mass function with the value of random variable, then we call it weighted uh, value of random variable or weighted random value is what we call it. If you sum all those weighted random value that we denote it by x time p of x, okay, x time p of x, okay, and we sum over all possible x. When we are saying uh, just I am writing x that means that means I am talking about sum of all possible weighted random value okay and that quantity we call it expectation or average or representation. So we say that once we will get value of uh, expectation of a random variable then we can say that uh, almost uh, uh, all possible all values of random number it uh, it is it is just uh, near about that. Uh, that expected value. What is meaning of near about means either it would be uh, before that expected, expected value or after. Like if expected value is coming 50, then you will say that x will take value around 50. It may be 41, it may be 50, 55, it may be 30, it may be 60, something like that. Okay. So all value falls between uh, near about all value falls near about the expected value. So it is giving one kind of representation, a representation of uh, there are various numbers that x is observing. So if you are willing to record it, if you are willing to uh, save it, it needs lot of spaces, memory location. If you in laptop you are trying to record these numbers, need lot of spaces. So in place of that uh, those many spaces what you do you can come up with uh, just single uh, number that one is expected, expected value and uh, what you do you distribute the number along, around that Go, move left word and right word in order to get uh, all possible uh, numbers okay so there would be trick how you will move from the expected value you have to move left word and right word in order to get all possible value so that also we will talk about. So expected is one kind of representation what we call it. Expected value or expectation is one kind of representation of variable pos possible value of random number or random variable. Okay. So the definition we had already seen that. So uh, again I am recalling that uh, expectation is weighted sum of uh, random variable. So we generally write it like this way. X time summation of X time P of, uh, P of X. That means this one is probability of observing this number X. So that's why this we call it weighted sum. And the simplest one, if you don't know this one, uh, this P of X, what you do? Observe n number of uh, that uh, random variable that call it X1, X2, X3 and sum it up, divide by n. So there uniform principle is coming. So whatever probability law is there, so all probability law, you can say that coming from uniform law. So you start with uniform law and keep on updating using conditioning approach that Bayes theorem, Bayes rule, keep on updating, keep on updating, later you will get finally uh, whatever desired probability law the random variable will have, you will get that. So uh, starting with uh, uniform law, you will get the final one, but you have to do various experimentation for that. So this one is the starting, if you don't know anything, just observe n number of values of that random variable and uh, sum it up, divide by n. So that means uh, uh, what is the process there? Those n number of random variable what you have observed, those are uh, uh, observed under equally likely principle. Okay. So each one is having same probability. What probability? 1 by n. So that's way. When n is very large, in that case, uh, you will say that 
it is actually giving approximate value of uh, expectation. It is one kind of, it is just, just one uh, approximation. There would be various approximations. So, it is just giving approximated value of expectation of x. But here, in order to compute expectation of x, you need to know probability mass function. If you do not know, it would be difficult to compute expectation of x. But here, you do not need to know probability law, exact probability law. What you know, just how many numbers you are taking, that you need to know. How many number you are measuring, that you need to know. How many number you are counting, that you need to know. Okay, so only that uh, uh, condition is. So, so, if you talk about from computational point of view, uh, this approach is much easier. Computation of this one is much easier than uh, this uh, computing expectation of a random variable. So, this one is much easier. But it is not giving exact value of expectation of x. It is giving approximated value. So, it is all about approximation of expectation, what we call it. So, this one is very much practical one and this one is very much law-based, law probability law-based or what we call it, uh, probability mass uh, function based. Okay. So, this is the expectation what I, I had discussed. Now, this one uh, expected expectation or expected value also you can call it x. Okay. Now, also we have seen the, that if x is a re discrete random variable, then we come up with a function of that discrete random variable uh, g of x and we are denoting it by a y. y is what? It is derived discrete random variable. It is function of a discrete random variable. So, it is another a discrete random variable which has been derived from the given random variable x. That means we know everything about x and from there we try to know everything about y. So, first job would be here, it would be there would be two approach here in order to compute expectation of y. One approach would be that uh, find the probability law that y is following. That means we have to find the probability mass function of y and if you are computing that then job is very simple, expectation of y would be what? Just it is this weighted value of y, okay, this one, weighted value of y. But we will see that uh, actually this weighted value of y, summation of weighted value of y, it will turn into a uh, very simple form that we call it uh, uh, expected value rule. This one is the expected value rule. Here, probability mass function of y will not come here. Here, probability mass function of x appeared. Probability mass function that you should know the difference between this and this. So, if I ask which whether uh, I am calling it 1 and I am calling it 2, so both are giving expectation of y. So, if I say uh, which one is if I am asking which one is uh, easier to compute 1 or 2, which one is easier to compute 1 or 2? 2 y. Yeah, x is individual. Also, in in first case, what is the problem? X is already given. So, individual x you also know. Why further? Rightly you pointed out, but uh, why that I am asking? See, it it is already uh, it appears something. From there you can answer. Which one? He rightly told that two is easier to compute. Then why two is easier to compute? Anything you see here? In these two? Yeah, yeah, uh, rightly again. So, in one, you have to ex do extra computation to compute probability of y. The p of y you have to compute. But here in two, you do not need to compute p of y. p of x is already given to you. So, just you are using that. So, here again, this also you can say that weighted value of g of x. Here weighted value of y and y is what? It is a function of x. So, y, a small y is function of a small x. A small capital Y is function of capital X. A small y is what? It is function of a small x. Okay. All those x which are mapped to y. So, that kind of things. So, all about that you have to understand how you uh, got uh, this, uh, the two formula from one. That if you understand that, uh, so many time uh, question would be there. Uh, establish these two equality. One is equal to two. You have to establish that. So, it depends upon definition of P of Y. How? Just put here the form of what is P of Y? It is talking about probability that Y is observing value, a small y. Okay. Now, uh, just we are not, right now this Y, we are not doing anything with that. Okay. We kept it as it is. 
so summation, this summation is with respect to y we kept it now we will look into this probability of observing a small y so it is one kind of event so how we will compute this one so this a small y will have one pre image or more than one pre image various image okay so suppose this one is you having more than one pre image then what we will do we will find the probability of all those pre image images and sum it up for all the, so here this x all those x which are here you can put here all those x which are mapped to y all those x which are mapped to y and then we are talking about summation with respect to y outer summation is with respect to y here right now we are talking about all those x which are mapped to y that means inverse image of y okay so simply what would be this one if you talk about like this way so this becomes small what is this one a small p of x what is this one a small p of x so so that x is inverse image of y what i have written here x is inverse image of y and y i have written in term of y is what y is image of x so y we have written as g of x okay so further if you talk about uh, uh, here uh, take summation with respect to so here no we don't see uh, y here y has been replaced by g of x so here there is a variation of x only so y this variable y has been replaced by variable x if you vary x y will vary as well that means y is what y is g of x if you vary x g of x will vary so that's why summation is with respect to x and you are talking about here this one inverse image of y so in total these two summation is actually single summation it is talking about what is summation with respect to only x anyhow it is uh, this one is talking about all possible uh, x value of x this one is those x which are uh, a specific inverse image of y so in total a single summation these two summation will be converted into a single summation that means we are just doing uh, weighted sum of g of x and the weight is provided by probability mass function of x and we are taking summation with respect to all possible x here again uh, if i am not giving any limit then simply x is free to take all possible value so summation is uh, this summation is for all possible y i okay so this formula is simply you call it uh, expected value of y okay expectation of y but when we are writing like this way what is this one it is actually expected value rule this one is expected value rule so remember here expected value rule expected value rule is very powerful and simpler to compute here you are having less number of competition so always uh, when you go for competition always you look for uh, the approach which is having less number of uh, computation expected value rule okay expected value rule you will call it or evr in short rule in short you can call it evr so remember that it is uh, it will come everywhere very time you will see that uh, occurrence of expected value rule when there is a, a function of random variable okay same thing we can do like that uh, we are not going if you don't know initially probability mass function of uh, uh, x okay we don't know that also so what we will do but we know g what is g we know and what are the value x is observing okay so we will just take note of some, n number of uh, measurement of x or n number of observation of x and correspondingly we will come up g of x1 g of x2 g of x uh, xn okay and we will sum it up and divide by total count that one is n so this one is uniform approach what we call it so when we increase keep on increasing n it will approximate the expectation of y okay it it would be near about expectation of y that so this one is rough way to compute expectation of y if you don't know the probability law okay so that is the approach simply now once you understand expectation then expectation is not giving clear uh, uh, what we call it uh, uh, complete information of the random variable it is not giving why uh, if you are observing uh, random variable like simply you call 
uh, like binomial random variable. So, it will take value like 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, ok. And suppose the coin, your Bernoulli trial what you have taken, uh, that one is a fair Bernoulli trial or fair coin. That means P probability of success is 0.5. If that is the situation, very ideal situation you have taken, it is always not practical. So, uh, what would be the, uh, what would be the uh, expectation here? What would be expectation? What would, what would be expectation? You you are having these six numbers, zero, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, then tell me what is the expectation? What is the average? Computer, it is very much simple. I think class six or seven question. What is average? What? Eight. Why it will come here? What is average? Just I am asking. 4 by 3. Any other just compute? What is that? 2.5. Why different difference sir? I, I told that uh, it is a class 5, 6, 7 question something like, something like that. Uh, you are making things complicated that is why. You will see that from left these are the two entries, from right these are the two, in the middle also you observe there is no single middle element, actually two element occurs and the always uniform principle we take, uniform law we are taking. So what you will do, what, what is the smart way to find uh, expectation or average, take uh, mid, mid point of middle one. So, there is no middle one, so there are two middle one, so we will take middle point. What is the middle point? 2.5. Whether the random variable, this random variable is observing 2.5, whether x is observing 2.5, x is not observing. Can we say that number of head would be 2.5, such, uh, such, such uh, possibility is not there. So, definitely expectation. Uh, that expected value would be a number which may not be observed by the random variable, but we will say that the random variable what value observing it is near about x. Then next question would be how much near about and how up to what level. You will ask next question up to what level and how, how those value of x is varying, uh, how, how those possible value of x are varying. So, we will talk about variability of the value of random variable or variability of the random numbers. We will talk about variability and variability of random numbers, uh, random value of random variable, it is actually described by variance of the random variable. So, we need to talk about variance. Apart from expectation, you have to talk about variability of the uh, random numbers and the variability is coming as a variance of the discrete random variable or random variable whatever. So, the expectation tells, tells us important information about the average value of a random variable, but there is a lot of information that it does not provide. If you are investigating in the stock market, the expected rate of return of some stock is not only a quantity that you will be interested, you would like also like to get some idea of riskness. Riskness, it is a second order, very second order. risk is always a square kind of quantity would be there uh, in definition, it is related with variance. The risk of the investing, what is the risk? The risk when, why you know that a stock price it varies, it is not like that uh, once a stock price is 100 rupees, then it will always be 100 rupees, it is not like that, it will keep on fluctuating, fluctuation is variation, it will keep on, so you need to talk about uh, fluctuation or variation, that variation in a stock price name is having risk, riskness. So, the typical size of fluctuation of a random variable around its expectation, we describe it by another summarized quantity that we call it variance. 
we call it variance okay then how we compute the variance variance is actually expectation of a square of mean deviated random variable expectation remember that here uh, this definition is true for any kind of random variable As, this one is expectation of a square of mean deviated random variable what is this one x is the random variable then we deviate by mean of the expectation so then it uh, these two together we call it mean deviated random variable okay then we do a squaring of the mean deviated random variable then it is a square of mean deviated random variable so it is what you can call it y y is what it is a square kind x square kind of function but mean deviated uh, square kind of function okay and then we are taking expectation over that so variance is a square of mean deviated random variable okay now the just in last slide we had studied if you are here y is what this quantity a square of mean deviated random variable we denote it by y, y that means y is a square of x minus expectation of x so now we are finding expectation of y so which rule we will apply whether we will go to compute uh, protein mass function of y no we will not go for that we will apply the second rule second rule expected value rule that means this one g of y the g of x time protein mass function of x that means weighted sum of g of x and g of x is what x minus a square of x minus expectation of x okay same thing what we have uh, this one is coming from expected value rule this definition okay uh, this computation is much easier okay now here just it is dealing with expectation of uh, uh, sorry probability density probability mass function of uh, given random variable x okay now further we will simplify it it is just simplified form it is coming like this way it is talking about expectation of x square minus a square of expectation of x so expectation of x is first moment and expectation of x square we call it second moment because a square is uh, moment con concept is coming here moment of inertia you might have seen something like that it is very much related with that okay or moment kind of things from it is coming from there so if you talk about competition of uh, this uh, that means uh, from here to here from here to here how we got so we can see it here competition is much easier here even we don't don't need to know p of x we don't need to know probability distribution how this competition is so that means it is very universal kind of competition uh, whether you are competing for uh, discrete random variable or continuous uh, the competition approach is same so we will talk about uh, competition of expectation of a square of mean deviated random variable and how we'll compute we'll just just simplify it okay and we are simplifying it like this way okay and one more thing you remember that expectation is now it is a deterministic number there is no randomness in expectation why probability has been exhausted here in the while doing summation weighted sum probability has been uh, exhausted so it is a deterministic number there is no randomness in the expectation there if you observe aspect randomness only in x in expectation of x you don't need uh, there is no randomness it is deterministic one okay now what we do if you are willing to compute expectation of a square of mean deviated random variable then how will compute just we will write expectation and what is argument a square of mean deviated random variable so we will simplify that algebra it is just talking about uh, a minus b whole square so expand it so if you expand it what you will ob observe x square minus twice of x into expectation of x plus expectation of x whole square okay 
and expectation is what it is a linear operator like uh, matrix kind of things if i am saying that there is a matrix uh, a and you multiply with uh, uh, alpha time x plus linear combination of two vector beta time y alpha and beta are a scalar x and y are vector okay what would be this multiplication it would be just equal to a time a x plus alpha time a x plus beta time a y what you observe here this we call it linear property it say that if you are having two vector x and y vector having direction okay and uh, by taking linear combination of x and y linear combination means alpha time x means you are taking a vector in the direction of x it is multiplied with alpha a scalar and beta time y you are taking a vector in the direction of y that means y has been multiplied with b so you are taking any vector in the direction of x any vector in the direction of y and if you are taking two vector and then summing then you will get hypotenuse the sum of uh, sum of uh, sum of vector from sum of vector what you are getting it so simply sum of vector is again a vector okay then if you apply a matrix over this one you are getting a time x it is same linear combination alpha what alpha is coming here same alpha is coming with respect to a time x and same alpha beta is coming with respect to a time y what is a time x it is image of x under a okay and what is a time y it is image of y under a matrix is what it is doing either rotation or a scaling or translation something uh, something like that okay so uh, generally it is doing rotation and later you will come to know the matrix do only two things rotation and a scaling <coughs> whatever matrix would be there it is just doing two things rotation it will rotate the vector or it will scale the vector a scale the vector okay only two things it is doing so same thing so matrix is always a linear operator from that perspective so similarly expectation is a linear operator so this expectation that means individually you have to apply expectation over each term how many terms are there three terms you observe three terms and so it will be split into three term what are those term expectation of x square then minus will come out uh, it would be and 2 is what 2 is what kind of number if i am asking what is the average of 2 what is the expectation of 2 it is itself 2 because it is fixed yes, there is no randomness it is fixed so average of fixed number is the number itself so simply that will and, and that uh, fixed thing come out from the expectation variable things we are having within the expectation so we will have minus 2 and expectation this one is also a fixed number expectation of x is also a fixed number so it will come out uh, inside what we will have inside we have we will have expectation of x this one is not fixed x is random in nature x is taking value in random in random fashion so here we will have expectation of x okay plus what would be expectation of a square of uh, expectation it would be the it is like uh, you are having a no, fixed number 2 or you are willing to find expectation of 2, 2 to the power 2 what is that is 4 expectation of 4 is again 4 so same if you are doing a squaring of a fixed number it is not going to change so it would be just expectation of a square of expectation of x it would be it is fixed number so if you simplify what you will get expectation of x into expectation of x means two times expectation of x square okay so and here one time it is coming like this way so finally so you are getting the desired formula what you here it is so in place of computing variance of a random variable 
the decomposed form is much easier the composed form is what uh, variance it is decomposed into two expectation one is expectation of x square okay that we call it second moment and minus a square of expectation a square of expectation so the second this this final uh, representation of variance is much easier to compute much easier to compute so this we call it variance that formula is very simple okay so uh, we'll do some exercises now once you are having uh, expectation and variance so variance is variability of x with respect to its, uh, itself okay now if you are having two random variable x and y then we will have a term covariance covariability that means co means what is cooperation like uh, cooperative and various things uh, that means x and y both exist, exist together and something if there is change in x there would be also change in y as well so co actually uh, you will not use two variable kind of things or uh, uh, those are actually for calculus but if you are in probability we talk about covariate a covariate so there covariance will come here because here these are random variable here a random variable observe uh, values under uh, certain probability uh, probabilistic law and uh, due to that uh, these are not deterministic these are random in nature so that's where covariabilities are coming so so if you are having two random variable x and y what is the covariance uh, between x and y it is just uh, what we do uh, this is actually variance is covariance of x with itself and covariance of x and y is means covariance of x with y so here covariance of x with itself that we have written x minus y expectation of x time x minus expectation of x so we will keep x minus expectation of x and we will replace second x minus expectation of x by y minus expectation of y so that's where this uh, this one is generalized from variance so this term we call it covariance if you are if you put here y equal to x then covariance becomes variance if you put y equal to x here in this second formula then covariance will be your variance okay now further do algebra here that inside the expectation do algebra you will decompose it x multiply it it would be decomposed into expectation of x minus y x expectation x minus y minus expectation x time expectation of y minus y time expectation of plus expectation of x into expectation of y and if you apply expectation over uh, x into y it would be expectation of x in uh, x into y and if you apply expectation over uh, he, this quantity what will be he here uh, expectation of y is a deterministic number it will come out of the expectation so it just uh, this after applying expectation over it it becomes expectation of x time expectation of y okay likewise the third term would be what this would be also expectation of uh, y time expectation of x that means we are having two time uh, expectation of x time expectation of y in negative and one time your expectation of this uh, deterministic quantity would be expectation of x into expectation of y so two time negative one time positive that means in total minus expectation of x into expectation of y and here also in this formula you can see it here uh, relation with this if you put here uh, y equal to x it becomes this formula y equal to x you become this formula so variance is a special case of covariance covariance is talking about variability between two random variable and variance is talking about variability with with respect to itself so that kind of thing so so these are the variability measure first one was the representation 
represent you are having various number you need a representation so that you will say that a central representation also carry the central element you were, you were looking for so around which all elements of all observed value of the random variable uh, belongs to okay and second one is uh, variability how it varies those number how it varies so we have already discussed all these so we will go to a specific probability mass function and uh, correspondingly discrete random variable and we will compute these two quantity what are those expectation and variance and also we will do some exercise as well so if you are taking uh, bernoulli random variable x is distributed in a bernoulli way with probability of success p p is the probability of success so uh, that means x is taking just two value either 0 or 1 and what is the probability mass function of a bernoulli random variable it is p to the power x into 1 minus p to the power 1 minus x and x is observing observing either 0 or 1 so first we have to find expectation of x so what is it is weighted sum of x the weight is provided by the corresponding probability mass function so when x is 0 what is the weight or what is the probability 1 minus p so 0 time 1 minus p when x is 1 what is the weight it is p so 1 uh, into p so expectation of x is equal to p probability of success probability of su expectation of uh, x is actually equal to probability of success in case of bernoulli random variable now uh, we can go to compute uh, variance variance of uh, random variable directly but we will not go for that we will compute the second moment uh, that means uh, expectation of x square what is meaning of that that means here we are taking in place of x we are taking random variable x square g of x equal to x square so we are talking about weighted sum of x square so here uh, x square into px and we have to sum for so if you take x equal to 0 then what is the square of 0 0 and what is the weight of 0 1 minus p so 0 time 1 minus p now if you take x equal to 1 then a square of 1 is 1 and what is the weight of 1 p so 1 time p so again expectation of x square is coming as p so what would be the variance variance we had already seen the variance of x we had already seen that it is difference of uh, expectation of x square minus a square of expectation of x so expectation of x square we have computed as p and expectation of x is p so it would be p square so p minus p square this is the variance p take common p into 1 minus p so what we call it what is this one p is probability of success 1 minus p is probability of failure so variance is variance for uh, bernoulli random variable is product of probability of success and product of uh, probability of failure so this way you you can compute variance directly so here uh, then you observe your probability mass function is written in term of p your expectation is computed in term of p your variance is computed in term of p then what is p p is the probability of success so actually p it is a parameter which is defining the defining every related concept of the bernoulli random variable if i am simply asking here a question equation of line a time x plus b time y plus okay equal to c directly I, I will write tell me how many coefficient are there or how many parameters are there what are the parameters or what are the coefficients actually we don't have much time we will discuss in next class I, I am going for tutorial so everyone just uh, uh,